And the end of the Trump administration has left more questions for the future of the Republican Party. We're now joined by David Avella, the chairman of GOPAC, which is a prominent Republican state and local political training organization. David, thank you so much for joining us. What kind of legacy would you say Trump is leaving behind? Well, as we move further away, and it focuses more on accomplishments, less on probably his personality, you're going to see historians talking about the impact he had on the judiciary, uh, the economic growth that we saw in America, and a leader working with state governors and f federal officials to uh, take on a pandemic that we hadn't seen in a in a hundred years, and also the major accomplishments we had uh, in foreign policy. So it's uh, uh, only time will tell ultimately, and and much of it will depend on who writes it. But for those who want to look for successes, they'll find many to talk about. And David, we saw 10 House Republicans vote to impeach Trump. After the riots, what's the tone? Is the Republican Party divided? No, it was 10 out of 100 and, or 213 Republicans. That certainly would not suggest a division. Uh, it would suggest, though, that there were people that felt on principle that uh, impeachment was something to consider, and they voted accordingly. But you look at the success Republicans had at the ballot box last year, there's no way we could have had that if we were a divided party. Uh, and it's uh, certainly something Democrats hope for, but not reality. You spent your career guiding Republicans. What's next for the GOP party? Well, we've got to continue to put in front of Americans Republican leaders who can share their ideas that make life easier, safer, and better. And if our ideas are superior to the ideas that our opponents put up, then we're going to win elections. Uh, we certainly did a lot of that in 2020, and we are well positioned to build on those. In fact, if as you look at the 2022 U.S. House elections, uh, right now, mathematically, Republicans are favored to take the House majority back if for no other reason you, know, you have states that are primarily or historically Democratic, uh, those are losing congressional seats and going to states that historically have been Republican. For example, seats uh, in New York and, and Illinois are losing and states like Texas and Florida are gaining. So uh, we, have, we have lots of great potential uh, in the Republican Party in the upcoming election and in future years. So speaking of which, what do you hope to see for the Biden administration? You hope President Biden will keep in mind the 75 million Americans who didn't vote for him and will be willing to have discussions with Republican leaders about what brings ideas to the table that helps all Americans and has everyone uh, feeling part of it and, and making sure that policy is, is as impactful and important to folks in Maryland and West Virginia and Virginia as much as it is to uh, it is to voters in New York City and the the West Coast and that it's really a uniting agenda and you know we, we can be hopeful today that that's the direction he takes